Are you wondering how to make your web pages load as quickly as possible? Well, in this video, I'll show you the exact steps that Tribesio took to move from a 37% Google Mobile score right up to a perfect 100%. So, if you want to rank higher on Google, offer a great user experience for your visitors and ace Google's PageSpeed Insights test, then you're in the right place. I'll break down all the obstacles that were overcome into five key milestones that led to our elusive 100% Google PageSpeed mobile score. Hey, it's Joe Williams from Tribe SEO, where we help small businesses get found on search engines like Google and for the keywords that matter. Now, if you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and for all the links mentioned in the video, you can find them in the description below. Now, before we jump into it, a bit of a disclaimer. As of this recording, the Tribe SEO homepage scores 100% Google PageSpeed mobile score around half the time. And that's pretty typical, as you'll often find that there are some variations when running PageSpeed tests. Okay, so let's jump into it. Milestone one, ensure clean code. Whether you realize it or not, your web pages are made up of a series of scripts that affect your site's page speed. For the simplest WordPress sites, PHP and MySQL scripts are run whenever a user requests a web page from the server. However, a typical WordPress site will use a theme, plenty of plugins, and sometimes a page builder. This results in many more scripts being processed, both server-side like PHP and MySQL, and browser-side like JavaScript and CSS. But here's the thing. Many of the additional scripts are unnecessary in how you want your pages to look and function. This results in bloated code and slow page speed times. To help illustrate this, here are some stats supplied by Oxygen for Fun. Now, if we look at the default installations for free popular page builders, we can see the combined JavaScript and CSS file size for Brizzy Pro, Divi Builder, and Elementor Pro are 1,624, 1,243 and 966 KB respectively. So of the three, Elementor Pro has the smallest file size, so the leanest code. But it's by no means the leanest of all page builders because WP Bakery, Beaver Builder and Oxygen Builder have smaller file sizes of 494, 59 and 34 KB respectively. It's clear to see Oxygen Builder has the leanest CSS and JavaScript code. It's around 4% of the total size when compared to Elementor Pro and 2% when compared to Brizzy Pro. That's because Oxygen Builder is built on the premise of only loading what is needed and when it's needed. Oxygen Builder also creates very clean HTML code, whereas other builders create large numbers of nested divs for simple content elements like H1 headings which adds to the code bloat. In contrast, Oxygen generates no unnecessary divs. On top of that, Oxygen Builder acts as both a theme and a page builder, so it outputs very lean code and it can be more accurately described as a site builder. Because of the lean code and supportive Facebook community, Tribe SEO picked Oxygen Builder to help develop our new site. We were also careful in choosing bloat-free plugins. For example, WP Fluent Forms is very small in file size. Next is milestone number two, install a PageSpeed plugin. After trying several WordPress PageSpeed plugins, I decided on WP Rocket because not only did it generate the best PageSpeed scores, it was easy to use and had excellent compatibility with our website setup. Out of the box, it offers great features like page and browser caching, as well as GZIP compression, to name a few. However, it was WP Rocket's file optimization features that made for the most significant impact. But first, let's review how Tribe SEO's homepage performed without WP Rocket installed. Its Google PageSpeed mobile score was an understated 37%. Google highlighted red triangles for largest contentful paint, time to interactive, and total blocking time so I knew these areas needed improving. Google also flagged three opportunities with red triangles, which indicated these were the highest priority for fixing. The first was to defer off-screen images. The second to eliminate render blocking resources, which WP Rocket would take care of later. 
and the third is to remove and use JavaScript. Interestingly, the fix for deferring off-screen images and removing unused JavaScripts was the same. When I clicked to read more about removing unused JavaScript, Google highlighted free JavaScript files to pay attention to. The first was for ChatRa, our live chat widget, the second for ConvertBox, which we use to capture emails, and the third was for Spotlighter, which we use as a video player. Now, Spotlighter was used for nine videos which all contained off-screen images as video thumbnails. So, what was the fix? The fix was to defer the JavaScript of these three files. This is easy to do in WP Rocket, but it requires a small amount of effort by me. So, here's what I did. Within WP Rocket, I browsed to the File Optimization tab and then scrolled down to the JavaScript section. I had Load JavaScript Deferred enabled, but the real magic happens by enabling Delay JavaScript Execution. WP Rocket adds some default JavaScript files and allows you to add your own custom scripts. You can see I've added ChatRa, ConvertBox, and Spotlighter, amongst others, to the list. But how much did WP Rocket help? Well, it did a lot more than just defer JavaScript and it boosted the TribeSEO homepage from a 37% Google PageSpeed Mobile score right up to a 97%. Best still, the WP Rocket configuration only took around five minutes to set up. But I do want to stress how important deferring or delaying JavaScript was in our case. If I disable delaying JavaScript feature, our Google PageSpeed score dropped from 97% to 50%. After that, it's milestone number three, upgrade web host. In December, 2020, we launched our new oxygen built website on a Kinsta web server. Now Kinsta is known for being one of the fastest dedicated WordPress hosting solutions. And overall, I found the support and experience to be very good. However, a couple of months later, Cloudways, who are another well-respected web hosting company, approached me about doing a webinar on page experience. We agreed on the webinar and we also agreed that I test our site's page speed performance on their servers. At first, it seemed that the performance wasn't as good on Cloudways as it was on Kinsta. Our Google page speed mobile score dropped from 97% to 94%, but something just didn't seem right. Both the largest contentful paint and time to interactive improved, but the cumulative layout shift had risen from zero to 0 0.781. This was strange because none of the CSS or HTML had changed. So after some toing and fro in, I hopped back into WP Rocket's file optimization section and I experimented by disabling optimized CSS delivery. A quick clear of the cache later, the CLS issue was fixed and our Google PageSpeed mobile score jumped from a 97% with Kinsta to a satisfying 99% with Cloudways. Now, I was surprised to see that switching from web hosts also improved our largest contentful paint score from 2.4 to 2.1 seconds. And if you're wondering what package we chose with Cloudways, it was the Volta high frequency two gigabytes of RAM that cost $26 per month, which was slightly cheaper than what we were paying with Kinsta. Now, to understand how to improve from a 99% mobile score to 100%, I headed over to the Lighthouse Scoring Calculator page and I inputted our page speed scores. It was clear that the largest contentful paint and time to interactive metrics were the weaker links, so that's what I'm going to focus on for the final push. And that brings us to milestone number four improve largest contentful paint. The largest contentful paint, LCP, is a Google PageSpeed metric that measures how long it takes for the biggest content element of a web page to load fully. Now, we've already seen good LCP progress through delaying JavaScript and upgrading our web host. But what else could we do? Well, the LCP element for our homepage is an image. In fact, it's an SVG image for our SEO mountain. If your LCP element is an image, here are some things that work for us. One, preload your LCP image. Preloading resources allows you to load fonts, images, JavaScript, and CSS higher up in the source code of a web page, so they are seen straight away and with minimal delay. 
WP Rocket provides functionality to preload fonts, but as far as I could see, not for images. Now, I already had the free Code Snippets plugin installed on our website, and this allowed me to create a custom homepage rule to preload the SEO mountain image using the link rel equals preload attribute. This made a noticeable impact on improving the largest contentful paint score, but it felt like a bit of a hack and not scalable to do on every page of your site. It would be great if WP Rocket makes it possible to preload largest contentful paint images and perhaps automatically. Number two, ensure server-side compression. For the Tribe SEO homepage, the image format for our LCP element is already good because SVGs typically have very small file sizes for vector-based graphics. Its file size is 13 KB. Now, when I ran our homepage through GT Metrics and looked within the waterfall diagram, I was pleased to see the SEO mountain image was the first file loaded. This suggests that our preloading of the image is working correctly. However, the image file size that was downloaded from the server was still 13 KB, which indicates the web server didn't compress it. This was strange because WP Rocket's server-side compression was working for regular images and text. So I sent a web host support ticket to Cloudways who confirmed that SVG compression isn't enabled on their servers by default. However, they had since enabled it for me. The end result was that the 13 KB file was reduced to a mere 3.9 KB. This also helped with compression of all other SVG images on our site. For example, our Learn SEO Fast image is 205 KB without server-side compression and 42.7 KB with it. Number three, disable lazy loading for the LCP element. Lazy loading is definitely a good thing to enable by default in WP Rocket because it helps with many page speed metrics. But does lazy loading slow down your largest contemptful paint score for images? I can't say for sure, but there's enough theory on the subject to suggest it could. So for good measure, I disabled the SEO Mountain SVG from being lazy loaded in WP Rocket. Again, I'm not sure disabling lazy loading for your LCP image is practical for every page on your site. Maybe this is a feature WP Rocket might consider in the future. So did preloading our LCP image, ensuring server-side compression and disabling lazy loading for the LCP image help with improving our largest contentful paint score? Well, I'm pleased to say yes, it did. We improved from 2.1 to 1.8 seconds. And after testing, it appeared that preloading our LCP image made the biggest impact on our largest contentful paint score. This wasn't enough to nudge our Google PageSpeed mobile score up to 100%, but I was sure I was getting closer to what we needed. And finally, milestone number five, improve Time to Interactive. Time to Interactive, TTI, isn't a core web vital, but it does contribute to your overall Google PageSpeed Insight score. It measures how long a page takes to become fully interactive. And it's not to be confused with first input delay, FID, which is a core web vital. FID also measures interactivity, but it focuses more on the user's first interaction with a web page, while TTI focuses on when the whole web page becomes fully interactive. Now, I did a little detective work using the Lighthouse Scoring Calculator, and I worked out that we needed to improve our TTI from around 2.5 seconds to under 2 seconds to stand a chance of getting the 100% mobile page speed score. But how could I do that? Well, there was a lot of trial and error from my end, but the key test that paid dividends was by temporarily disabling our header and footer from our website. And magically, this resulted in the elusive 100% Google PageSpeed mobile score. And the TTI improved from 2.5 to 1.7 seconds. But was the header or footer causing the problem? I reinstated the header and the 100% score remained. When I looked at the footer again, there is a sizable SVG image of a mountain range. And interestingly, it was the only background image from the Tribe SEO homepage. So I reinstated the footer, but this time without the image and the page maintained the elusive 100% Google PageSpeed mobile score. After some digging through WP Rocket's support documentation, 
I discovered that background images needed to be in a specific format to be lazy loaded. Now, I'm not a web developer and I struggle to get the correct background image format. So to make life easier, I simply added it back in as a standard image and hey presto, WP Rocket was able to do its lazy loading magic and the Tribe SEO 100% mobile page speed score was maintained. Now, I'm very grateful to Oxygen Builder, WP Rocket, and Cloudways helping Tribe SEO achieve a 100% page speed score. But to finish things off, here are my two biggest page speed tips. Number one, pay close attention to optimizing both server side and browser side scripts. For example, WP Rocket is excellent at optimizing JavaScript. Number two, Stay curious and experiment with lots of different tests to see which tweaks make the biggest impact in, in improving your page speed scores. And because all websites are different, I'm curious to know, what's your biggest page speed tip? Please let me know in the comments below.